and today I will repeat the process of electroplating with this ink. So first of all, when you use this ink, you need to mix very well. Okay, and now I will make some another test with electroplating with this ink. So today I will electroplate this piece of wood. You see I connected uh, some copper wire, uh, which is for the negative terminal of my power supply. So I will coat this section with uh, copper sulfate which is here. I have here the positive electrode, which is made from copper. And now I will soak this part of this wood into this conductive ink. Like so. And now you need to wait that this ink is dry. If you want you can repeat this process one more time. But I think this will be enough. So this one need to be dry. So the paint is dry and now I will soak this piece Oops So I soak uh, this piece of wood into copper sulfate and now I will connect this to my power supply and here we go I use the voltage of 3.5 volts and 130 milliamps And now you need to wait. We get this. So it's not totally completed. But you see the point. Very nice. So I put this wood only one time into conductive ink and it's really good. Uh, so if you put two times, if you soak this wood two times, uh, the electroplating process will be a little bit faster. Okay. I keep this one uh, 20 minutes more and let's see what we got.
really really nice coating Really awesome. So that's it, and we see us in the next video. But